Welcome to another J News. This is the series on Japanese for morons in which we study Japanese using、uh, fairly recent news. Fairly recent. This one is pretty recent. And this one is not actually from Japan. It's from China, but it is being reported in Japan. And I'd like to point it out because usually, you know, Japan has a reputation, a hyoban, a reputation of being、uh, one of the most、uh, techno- technologically advanced countries in the world. But,、uh, so I was very surprised when I saw this story. Because I thought, you know, I saw the news story and it said Mujin Komini, which means、uh, no man, no man convenience store, or unattended actually.、Uh, and I thought, wow, in Japan, right? But when you, if you actually watch the video, which is linked in the description, you will find that actually this convenience store exists in Beijing, or as we say in Japanese, Peking. Peking. I think in China they say Peking too, but I'm not sure. In English, of course, we say Beijing. But anyway, it's a pretty interesting story. Let me t- tell you about the convenience store first. It's a box shaped convenience store, and you cannot get in unless you,、uh, until you identify yourself. So there is a kind of a, a, kind of a registration area. You'll see the video, and it, it will take your picture. And I'm assuming you have to give it your telephone number or some kind of other identifying、uh, information, maybe a credit card. I'm not sure about that. However, once you get into the store, every product in the store has a tag. And you collect what you want. You know, you pick out the things just like a regular convenience store. I, I assume they have a basket or something. You take your things to a counter and place them on the counter. The counter has a sensor and it identifies what products you have and it comes up with a total and it allows you to pay for them. I'm assuming they take credit cards or, or、uh, maybe debt cards like we have in Japan,、uh, these little. Cards that we have here, like my mana card here in、uh, Nagoya. But then you leave the store, that's all. And when you, when you go through the store, there's a sensor. And if, this, if, this, if you haven't paid for something,、uh, or you forgot, <laughs> it will tell you, oh, you haven't paid for something, please pay for it. So this is, of course, to prevent、uh, shoplifting or mambiki. Uh, the problem with this is that you can easily, easily take the stickers. That indicate the price the, that, that will sound when you go through the sensor when you're leaving the store, or the, the sensors, these, these are what indicate what the price are,、uh, and they're, they're attached to every product.、So、every product has a little, a little tag. The tags can be easily taken off. So, in the video, you'll see that actually some people have done this. And now, the big question is, of course,、um, Is, isn't shoplifting going to be a problem? Won't these stores suffer from shoplifting? And、um, yeah, that is a question. Now, one way they, do, they don't suffer is because they know your, what your face looks like and they have some identifying information about you. So this makes it you know, less、uh, likely that you're going to steal f- from, from the store. The other thing is the tags. So when you go through, you know, it, it, will see, it, will, it will detect whether or not you have paid.、And、the third way, which I thought was really interesting, is that it weighs you. So, when you walk into the store, it actually weighs you. And when you're leaving the store, it weighs you. Now,、uh, I don't know how, what a, what a, how great an idea that is because you could theoretically go into the store, buy some things, right? Take the tags off a few other things, and then walk out with the things that you have. And if you have no tags on it, oh, well, I guess it would, it would know the weight of every product. In the store, huh? I suppose it might work, but it would have to be a very exact scale. Anyway, pretty interesting concept.、Uh, they don't have them in Japan yet,、uh, they do have them in、uh, China. Only one, from what I can tell from this story.、Uh, we'll see what happens with this. But of course, that is it's basically just a big vending machine, right? And one thing about Asia that's, I don't know about China so much, of course,、uh, because I'm in Japan, but one thing I have heard about、uh, Japanese is that Japanese, young Japanese especially, would rather deal with a, con- with a vending machine than a convenience store because convenience stores have clerks and, you know, it's just easier not to deal with people. And because of the,、um, the personalities of some people who are shy or whatever, it's just, you know, men doksai or a pain in the neck or ass to deal with a human being. But a vending machine, you just put your money in and get your stuff, right? So that's one reason we have so many vending machines. And unlike、uh, other countries,、um, people don't damage the vending machines、uh, here in Japan. 
people are fairly respectful towards vending machines. We have we have great vending machine respect here in Japan. Uh, from what I hear in the States, that's not the case, and people often will vandalize them or rip them off. And of course, uh, shoplifting, of course, is not nearly as common in Japan as it is in other countries, but it does exist, and I've actually seen people uh, shoplift, and even I even saw a gaijin get arrested for it once, but might have made a video, I don't remember. Anyway, let's get to the story. Uh, and the link, of course, as always, is in, is in the description, and you can follow along with me the vocabulary. Today's lesson is short, fairly short comparatively, comparatively to other lessons in the past. We're going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. Let's look at the title first. Mujin, Mujin, um, Kombini Ten Ni Itemita. And let's use this here. Mujin Kombini Ten Ni Itemita. Exclamation mark. Manbiki Higai wa Daijoubu. Okay, so mujin means unattended. This really means no, no. Mu, mu is nothing. Nin, uh, mu, mujin, and this can be pronounced jin, uh, nin, or hito. In this case, mujin. Mujin konbini, so unattended, no people, konbini, uh, in katakana, convenience store, konbini. Ten, this can be pronounced mise, or in this case, ten is when it's added to something, it's ten. Um, ni. Uh, ini indicates the direction of something. Itemita. I went and I went to a convenience store. When you add mita, like te form plus mita, it means like you tried it. So tabite mita, I tried it. Uh, itemita was I went and saw it. Uh, checked it out. Mambiki is uh, shoplifting. Mambiki suruhito is shoplifter, but mambiki is shoplifting. Mambiki hanzai is a shoplifting crime. Mambiki higai damage. What subject marker? Daijoubu. Is it okay? Is, aren't they going to suffer damage from shoplifting? Okay, well, let's, let's, that's basically the beginning part, okay? And then some, some words that I want to focus on here that are useful is, of course, the first one, mujin, unattended. And in the, and in the first sentence, you will hear the question, soboku na gimon, which means a simple question. So I have a simple question for you. Soboku na gimon nan da kedo. Simple question. This could be a stupid question, simple question. And when you want to... You know, ask a simple question, you can begin with this. Soboku na, soboku na gimon nan da kedo. And then ask your question. Nan desu ka? Ask a question. Kate ni is freely. Oh. Kate alone has a feeling of selfish, but kate ni means freely. So you're able to freely shop inside the store. Mochi dasse nai. Can't take it. Mochi das is take out. Mochi dasse nai is cannot take out. Shogyo Shisetsu is a commercial facility or building. Shogyo Shisetsu. The shape of the building, or the shape of the convenience store, which seems to be inside of a shopping mall or maybe an airport, is Hako Gata. Hako is box and Gata is shape. So literally, box shaped or cube shaped. Uh, this, of course, as we just said, is Mise or Ten. Together we read them Ten. Ten, which is a store clerk. Ten Rashiki. Rashiki is someone like a score church. Jinbutsu is a person, uh, an existence, a person who exists. Someone, so basically someone like a store clerk. And in the store, and in this video, you will see that they say there's no one in the store who appears to be a store clerk. So maybe there are other customers, but there's no one in the store who appears to be a store clerk. So Ten Rashiki Jinbutsu ga inai. There's no one in there. Jizen uh, ni, ahead of time. Jizen ni ahead of time. Toroku register. So you have to register before you go in. Ninshiki recognition. You can hear the police there. Ninshiki recognition. Uh, kibishi new ten kanri. So it's strict to get into the store. You have to take your picture and register your phone number or maybe credit card. Kibishi is strict. Kibishi. Um, new ten is to go into the store. When the first kind, this kind you hear means to enter new, and this is store, so literally entering the store. New ten, kibishi new ten kanji management. So basically policy. So getting into the store is pretty strict. They have a pretty strict entering policy or admission policy. Kaike 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 payment. Kaike onegaishimasu means let me pay for it. Please ring me up. Kaike. Fuda is a tag. They have tags or fuda on all the products. Kaizen is improving. So they're going to study how to improve the system. Uh, I think at the end of the video, they say, well, this is interesting. We have to f figure out how we can improve on this. Mambiki, as I said before, is uh, shoplifting. And Mambiki Hanzai is the crime of shoplifting. 
taisaku measures. So we need manbiki taisaku. We need to take measures to prevent shoplifting. Kanjin, just a minute, kanjin kaname, most importantly, this is a new word for me. I love doing these videos because I also learn uh, from this. Kanjin kaname, the most important thing here is blah, blah, blah. And mochi dashi hodai, take whatever you want. Hodai is added to certain phrases to mean all you want. For example, tabe hodai, eat all you want, all you can eat. Nomi hodai, all you can drink, things like that. Now let's just listen to, the, I want you to go, go and watch the video though. It's a pretty interesting video, even if your Japanese level is fairly low. Uh, it's a pretty cool video. You, you pretty much can follow along, you know. Let's listen to the beginning here. And of course, there'll be a little bit echo because of the, the way I'm doing this, but let's try. <laughs> Okay, so first in the world, this is something that's done in the vocabulary, but I can, I can uh, explain it for you. Sekai teki ni mo mezurashi. Mezurashi is rare. Sekai is world. So, so, so uh, internationally speaking or worldly speaking, literally, sekai teki ni mezurashi. So something that's very, very rare in the world. Tain, remember the clerk, hitori mo even one inai, not existing. Tain wa hitori mo inai, not even one store clerk. Mujin no konbini. Now, in her conversational, well, she's speaking, she says no, but you don't need no. You can say mujin konbini or mujin no konbini. And she says open, open has opened. Uh, and the kanji on the screen though, you'll see is kaiten, kaiten means to open. Ninki ni natteru. Ninki ni natteru, it has become popular. <laughs> that's the word I was telling you about, right? That's the that's the focus today. Uh, where is it? Suku, soboku na gimon. Soboku na gimon. Let's listen to it again. She says that the woman on the left is, uh, on the right is saying it. Right? Soboku na gimon nan desu. What did she say? It's basically saying, but, but, so this is a simple question, but, so I have a simple question. Maybe, maybe this is a, uh, an easy question or a simple question, but, and she's going to ask about the uh, manbiki. Isn't, um, won't the store suffer from, from, from uh, shoplifting? Are you okay? Will it be okay? It's a little bit more polite. You'll hear, hear this variation often. So that's basically it. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Uh, I'll just show you that they, they have tags, as you can see here below me. They have tags or fuda on all the products there. And as you can see in this, the... It shows you, it takes your picture in the beginning here when you go, when you get on. I guess you can send it your picture on the telephone. Maybe you have to register on a telephone. I'm not really sure how that part works, but but it's kind of hard to get into it. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. Some of the products here seem to be Japanese. I saw one of the products. Oh, no, these seem to be English. I thought I saw some katakana in there. I might have. My, maybe my uh, imagination, but... Anyway, uh, that, yeah, here's the scanner. You put your food on a scanner right there, as you can see. Ooh, let's do a big screen. And it will, the sensor will pick up what you need to know. It'll tell you how much you owe. And then you go out, leave. Uh, where's the, yeah, mambi. So here, here on the screen, you hear the mambiki taisaku. So what measures are taken to prevent shoplifting? And it talks a little bit about one of those things is, of course, weighing you when you leave, which is just amazing. And telling you that, uh, oh, you haven't paid for this, please pay for it. And they talk about the um, the fuda or the tags that can be easily taken off. So that's a problem. And they actually found that some of the tags, see the tags there? Some were already ripped off, like somebody had already shoplifted. So as you can tell, see, they easily come right off. And as you can tell here, 
right uh, right there somebody's already taken a tag right off so yeah not a perfect system yet so we have to find a way to improve it or kaizen sort of this system but anyway it's a pretty interesting um new <laughs> development in in our our further uh <laughs> journey on getting away from each other by, by by replacing us all with machines you know anyway that's your lesson for today thank you very much for studying with me this video went on too far too long oh my god but as as always please check the description and if you'd like to support the videos please uh check out my patreon and uh, paypal thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video coming soon coming soon